Hello, John Talley here with Partzilla.com, and today I want to show you another tool that I have in my toolbox from Motion Pro. This one is called the Slack Setter. Now, if you've been riding motorcycles for any length of time, you know that the chain slack changes almost constantly, especially when it's new, and it's very important to get that slack right. Because if it's too loose, well, then you run the risk of derailing your chain and potentially damaging your engine cases. On the other end, if it's too tight, well, then you may snap your chain in half. Either, either way, that is going to end your day of riding. Now, this little tool is really easy to use. It's repeatable, and that's what you're really after. Just a quick look to make sure you're in the ballpark before you head out to the tracker trail. So let me crawl around to the other side of this machine. I'll show you how to use it. Now, as I said, this is a really easy tool to use. What we're going to do is orient it at the midway point in between our front sprocket and the rear sprocket. And we're going to insert the chain into here. Now, if this is all the way up against the bottom of the swing arm, which it should be on this particular machine, we don't have to do anything with this adjustment. But if the chain did not go all the way to the swing arm itself, then you want to bring it to its natural state right here and then adjust this down and that creates your new zero point. At that point, you would bring down the chain to where it stopped and that's going to be your slack. But I can go ahead and tell you that this one is going to push all the way up and that's going to be at zero point. So there's no reason to reset a zero point on this particular make and model. Now on some of your street bikes, Yes, you'll have to compensate for that and set the new zero point. But once you have the zero point, then you just bring the chain down and take that measurement. So your midpoint on an RMZ is roughly about at the end of this chain guide, and we're going to measure it right here. And I just made a mark with a permanent marker so it's easy to follow, easy to see, and I can go straight back to it. So that'll wipe off with a little bit of contact cleaner, and we won't tell anybody. So really simple to use. We're going to grab the chain here, push it up into the swing arm, bring the chain down, and see what our measurement is. We're right at 40. Let's do it one more time, just for kicks. Look at that, 40 millimeters, over and over again. Easily repeatable. All you have to do is make a little mark so you can go back to that same point. That's worth it to me. Well, there you go, guys. Another really high-quality tool from Motion Pro that you probably need in your toolbox because, let's face it, it's easy to use, and it makes the same measurements repeatable. That way you know you're going to be ready for the road, track, or trail before you head out. Well, listen, if you need this or any other tools or parts for your machine, why don't you come see us at PartsZilla.com, and we can get you taken care of. Hey, if you like what you see, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can keep up with whatever I'm working on or talking about next. We just want to say thanks for shopping here with us at Partzilla, and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.